Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode number 6 of the Coventry Crusade. This episode, we are going to be playing a game against Burton Albion, which is the game before I was going to be playing. I did the side instead of coming back for the, or is it, um, Rotherham game, we come back for the Burton one because they're higher in the league and it made more sense that way because they're going to be closer rivals to us. So, slight disclaimer from the last two episodes before this one. I went to edit them and I found I had no audio. I had the whole ev everything else, so I've had to re record the audio over the top of it. So I apologise if it's a little bit out of sync or I'm just rambling. But I've done my best and I hope you still enjoy those episodes. But if you're enjoying the series so far, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, button if you haven't already. And we're just going to get into this. I'll show you the results in a minute. We're going to go through the transfers first from January. So since, uh, where's January on there? We let go of four players. First one being Stephen Hendry. He just was not performing for me and he was doing my head in. Just not doing well. So I let him go to Luton. Um, just want to get him off the books. Didn't care, he came in on a free. He's gone. Save on the wages. I'll leave uh, Bronte go to last. We let Steve Morrison go to Plymouth. Eight point five k just get him off the wage budget as well because he wasn't doing anything, he played like five games maybe. Four games for us. So like, he came in on three, just let him go, I'm not too fussed about him. Sean Long went out on loan to Mansfield as well. So nothing major really there. The big deal is Danny Brunskill's gone off to West Ham. Didn't want to let him go, but he's really kicking up a fuss. And he was causing issues in the back, back room and just wasn't getting anywhere with him so we let him go for initial 675k up to 1.4 which is quite good i think for someone who is quite young still he's 17 but we do have a i don't know if this will show it clauses run skill we get if he no that's the wrong one run skill we have to play friendly we get 40 percent of the profit on the next transfer and we got a buyback clause of 1.3 million so in two three season time if he's improved exceptionally well out there academy then i'm going to try and bring him back and do the best i can because he is a commentary supporter which is there so if we can get him back in a couple of years time after he's had a few years in their training facilities where everything's better and then hopefully try and get him back other than that in terms of the outs, nothing else has happened, simply. But we've had a few ins. Starting off with Will Keane from Hull. 140k. He's 25. And he's an exceptional striker. I wouldn't have said he's League 1 level. I would have expected him to be Championship level. But he's just been on fire for us. He's got 5 goals in 6 games so far. And he's just been amazing. He's I needed a clinical striker. And I think we've got it in him. We then went and got, and for 140k, that's a really good deal, I think. We then got Scott Waghorn, Waghorn Wagstaff from Gillingham, who was actually um, just behind us on the table at the time of signing him. Um, good little right winger, he's 27, I wanted a little bit more experience over there. And someone who can actually play out on that right wing as well, because we're using Stevenson then, he's not, he's a good player, but he's not. A natural right winger so I wanted to get someone in for there then we loaned in Jamie Sperry again who was here a couple of seasons at um, start of last season yeah he was here at, like um, right at the start of the save for the first season went back to Newcastle didn't play went out on loan to Northampton did okay there and he's come back to us which is actually the wrong way around like, he was there went to Northampton on loan at Newcastle and he's come back to us. I've done it backwards. So we just need a back, right back really or another right back. Then we wanted another centre back and good, good was on the list. He wasn't overly expensive, good decent centre back and just going to do a good job for us. So quite happy him for 75k is a really good deal. And then the other big signing or the biggest so far was Jack Robinson the left back to replace Hendry because he looks amazing. He's an ex Liverpool player or academy player, anyway. He only, I don't think he ever played for the first team. 
No, I don't think he did, but he moved out from what one million to QPR, had a good season there. He was having an excellent season at QPR. 7.51 in seven games. Okay, he got one goal, one assist, one player of the match, but that's amazing for a left back. It's like, right, let's get him in, and for 350k, he's valued at a million. So, we sell him in two years' time, we're going to make over 600 grand profit. But he just looks amazing, he's definitely going to help shore up that left wing side. And that's effective here, we've still got mon money in the bank, 800k, 15k on the wages. I was looking at a few other players like Sam Johnson, but these are loans. Contract expires at the end of the year, like Johnson, I'll be looking at him if we go up. And I was looking at Bart Bartley instead of Good, but Good made more sense in terms of value. So there's a few players I was looking at. Got a load of players on my short list to look at as well and try and bring in for next season. If we can go up, which I'll show you the lead table because we are currently sitting in second, just behind Gillingham by two points. So we're playing Burton Day, who are a little bit further behind, but Port Vale are still right on our heels, and we're doing quite well. So in terms of the results since the last episode, we have where do we stop? FA Cup. We beat Scunthorpe three 0 Very happy with this result. Uh, Will Keane scoring on his debut. Excellent performance from the lad, very happy with that. They had a sending off early on and it effectively was us just battering their goal and, and taking the win. After them, we played Charlton 4 on there. Will King getting a hat trick, so he started the season, this half of the season off on fire. I could not have hoped for a better return and he's just been rocketing them, rocketing them into the goal. Right, Wagstaff getting his goal as well. Very happy there. After Charlton, we then played Oxford in the which one's this? Is the league? We lost to them in the league, two one. Disappointing. They didn't have the best of games. We sort of dominated in terms of shots and that, but their goal, their defence was the best players on the pitch. Their goalie was the man of the match, and he kept them in it. And we should have had a draw at least from that, but disappointing to lose it. Now where is it? Two 0 But we. Got a revenge on them, beating them 4-1 in the Czech Trade Trophy. And Dunn, Keen, Ribeiro's own goal, which is really confusing. We have the ball here with Stevenson. He puts it over the top. Jones shoots. I don't quite know what's going on there, but it's from around. And he could do anything. He could take a touch and move it out of the goal. He could try and do what he did and clear it, but aim up it this way. But no, he decides to boot it into his own net. So <laughs> I got a little bit confused with that one. I was sort of sitting there watching. What's going on here? <laughs> but we got the win. We were already 2-1 up by that two one up by that point. So we didn't really make much of a difference. And we won out winners anyway. We then played Shrewsbury in a 1-1 draw. Um, Seager getting the goal. They came back late in it. And... Effectively, they had is like one of their only shots on target by that point, and it went in the back of the net. A little bit disappointed there to concede. I did rotate the team a bit because of fitness and everything going on. So, a little bit disappointed with that. We then played Tottenham under 23 in the Czech Trade Trophy quarter final, losing 3 1. All three of their goals were outside the box. Absolute. Monster goals. If I can show you them quickly, I'm pretty sure they're all like goals from the edge of the area, and it's just ridiculous how they were going in. But this Sterling, top corner. Can we go to the next goal? Was this that's ours, and ours wasn't the best of goal. There's Dembele, plays it into Winks, into whatever is guy name, and he puts it into the top corner. Just what was going on? They were on fire in terms of scoring. Sterling has it again. I don't know who scores this one. Uh, Sterling. So he's right over here. Plays it into the middle there. I'm pretty sure his is from outside the box as well. I'm 99% sure every single one was outside. Oh no, this one was inside the box. But two of their goals were just absolute thunder bastards. It's like, what? Fair play. It was cracking shots and thoroughly deserved. If they're going to put in um, shots like that and get him into the top corner every time. I can't argue it. 
but we pulled back and sort of settled our nerves against Preston, beating them 1 0. Keane getting the goal in this one. Robinson got sent off, which was a bit disappointed, and we had to hold on for the last 20 minutes. But we got the result in the end and very happy with it. After then, we then lost 2 0 to Luton. I don't know what the hell was going on on our team there, but we just did not turn up. Apparently Dunn did, but no one else did. So, a little bit disappointed there. So, it's been a bit of an up and down. After this good run of games here where we're just flying, we have this sort of up and down period. A little bit disappointing. So, we're going to get into the game against Burton. We're at home. And see how we can get on, lads. Hopefully, a better performance than the last game. Um, Robinson going back in. Turnbull, Wilkes, Ricketts. Yeah, fine. Jones. Who's put and uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're probably going to stick with that. People are making off with some Miller as well during the window. Um, oh, they want them online. Okay, that's fine. But they're only offering like 20k. And it's like, no, go away. So, yeah, I think that's going to be about it in terms of the team I put out. Um, yeah, that way. Hopefully, we can have a good game and see what we can do. They got Danny. Daniel Hagia, don't know, on their team who used to play for us for a little bit for long. Um, Boateng, Palmer, Naylor, uh, Johnny Byrne, yeah. And who else? Mauricio, Byron, Crowen, La John Lathrin, who do you used to play for? That was. Hmm. Okay, so. A bit getting distracted now. <laughs> Let's get into the game. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. Right, come on. There we go. And, yep. Very happy with that. Come on, lads. Go out there and give us a good performance and get the three points. I'll have my drink over on the other table. Damn it. Jones. Oh. Didn't get very far there, did we? Right, like that from goal kick. And there's a player out of the back. We can nick this off him. Palmer. Gale wins in deception somehow. Where's he going? Wagstaff over the top. Jones is going to challenge for it, but Johnny Burns sends it down. Boateng plays it off, the <laughs> off his teammate to get it back. Danny. Palmer. Naylor. Palmer, forward to Danny, over the top from McCrony, McCrory, and they've scored, that's annoying, first highlight of this game, and it's gone their way, and they've scored from it, really disappointing with that, hmm, to really kick forward and try and actually get back into this now, why do these highlights take forever, I don't have a lot running, and my computer's pretty damn good on the um, graphics and that. Right, they got the ball down on the right wing. Furlong gives it to Nalan Palmer. Turnbull clears up to Jones. Can we hit him? This is the highlight straight from goal, goal kick from half time. Where was that? He had players bursting in on his right, which would have been better options there. Vlad. Robinson, where's he going? Inside to Gale. Keen there, where's he going? Around the corner, Wagstaff shoots, he scores. He pulled us straight back into it. That was a little bit more of a shot than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting Wagstaff to shoot there. I'm going to have to think of a nickname for him. Wagstaff? There's a bit too much to say at times. Keen back heel, lovely. On his weaker foot as well, with Wagstaff, and puts into the top corner. But that lovely bit of skill by Keen to back heel it into the path for Wagstaff. They're going to score from this free kick, aren't they? Oh, they've clattered the bar with it, though. Hmm, that's concerning. They come straight back out, and come on, lads. Ricketts, Wagstaff. Not long left to go. And Keane, where's he going? 
over the top for Robinson. He's got Gunn ahead of him. Seager's in the box, but he's offside. Hmm. That's annoying. I thought he was going to play it down the line for Dunn, who can then whip it in, but no, he decides to play the ball straight into the box for Seager, who's run offside. But Robinson with a long throw into the box. Seager's won it. What happened there? Never had a long throw like that going before. And we move into first, apparently. Let's see this again. Robinson, long, high looping throw. There are four players there, just bundled up. The keeper decides to come and don't get anywhere near it. And Seager somehow, out of the four, five players involved, gets his head to it. I'm not going to argue it, it's a goal. <laughs> Where's he going now? Can we hold on now? We've got This should be the last action of the game. Gale heads it clear. And yes, we win the game 2-1 from that late throw-in. And that's quite unexpected. I wasn't score to score. I wasn't expecting to score from there. But we take the win and go top of the table by a point. Who did Port Vale play? Port Vale, Port Vale. Drew one with Bristol, so they didn't close the gap or anything. And Gillingham must have lost 2-0 to Oldham. Wow, okay. We've got a very, very good chance of going up this season. I don't want that one. This. What do we have there? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 games left. So let's split this up. Who's near the top of the table? Gillingham up there in second. Should we come back for that? Who do we have? Look, Rotherham, Bradford, South End, Cambridge, Fleetwood. Yeah, let's come back for the Gillingham game. Because they're second in the league, and it, if we keep up our form, it's going to be who's going to get top of the table. That seems like a good option there. Yeah, let's do that. So, guys, if I can click on the right button, if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next episode for when we take on Gillingham. And I'll see you then, guys.